You ready? Saturday 26 to 014. About 11 30 a.m. Okay, what happened to this uh, five year old male therapin? Uh, not eating for the last uh, two, two weeks. weeks. Yeah. Other than that? Uh, uh, no, no other issue. No, is it less active? Uh, yeah, less active. Less active, yeah. huh? And uh, the food is the same food or same different food, food, but you feed the new bottle? Uh, feed the new bottle. Correct. For yeah. how long? One month? Zoom here, zoom there, no, no. To zoom eyes, zoom, zoom, zoom here. Yeah, about one month. Uh, new bottle, right? New bottle, one month. Huh? Yeah. Okay, this new bottle he eat about two weeks and then after he don't want to eat, right? Yeah, not eating. Really. Uh, okay, I have a similar case. Mm. They, they also bought something like yours, a new bottle, but the same brand. Mm. After that, the eyes got swollen. Okay. And uh, so it stopped eating. So yeah. what I suspect is uh, there's something toxic inside mm. inside the, the, the pellets. Uh. Okay. Now, this swelling, I would say it's not normal, but you, you don't know how long. How long is this? Mm, quite long already. Uh. Is it two years, three years? Yeah, two, three, at least two, three years. Two, three years, huh? Are you sure of it? Yeah. Okay, then this part is swollen so you can see the swelling here and uh, for a five year old it shouldn't be so swollen so there's possibility that uh, he has eaten something which uh, which uh, damaged the kidney or the liver and uh, in this case uh, you can see that uh, we call it the subcutaneous edema the fluid is under the skin now this is a male as you can see the nails are long Males have long, long nails, and uh, so what happened is uh, when when the the food is toxic, the the therapy stops eating it. Uh, so that there will be mm. one reason. Okay. And so when you buy a new new mm. new one, he eats mm. a bit, but then he's yeah. not well. Okay. He's not well, so he mm. stop eating again. So now the thing is, uh, how you going to solve the problem? Is is first of all this therapy. I'll give antibiotic injection okay. and then uh, what you do is the water must be mm. uh, clean and then uh, dry. Mm. Uh, okay. what, what I mean is uh, not dry, the water must be clean and there must be some sunlight, there's okay. no sunlight. Clean and, warm. Uh, mm. And I noticed there's some cracks in the shell. Uh, some cracks but they're not serious. So overall the eyes are okay, you can see the eyes. Uh. So this one doesn't have the same eyes. But uh, as to the cause of this, to the cause of this uh, loss of appetite, is usually something affected the the internal organs. Uh. Mm. Uh, in this case, uh, it could be liver, kidney, or heart. But in this case, uh, it's hard to say unless you do a blood test. But it's of course not mm. not possible to do a blood test mm. for this therapy. So uh, what we do is. Uh, we have to check the food, mm. the water, and the sunlight. Okay. All these three things. Mm. And uh, the best is, uh, I think, for, for him, you can see he's breathing quite fast. Yeah? Mm. You can see the breathing. Uh, so we will sort of uh, don't let him wander around first. Let okay. him rest in a bigger area, but not to mm. walk for hours. And, okay. and then let him have access to the water and water. the sunlight. Okay. Uh, and, mm. and, and the medication will be through the, through the water. Through the water. And you see the breathing is fast, yeah? the respiratory rate. Do you see? Zoom on to this side, come this side. Now you observe, you observe the respiratory rate here from the movement. Yeah, the movement. So it's uh, considered very fast. Normally it doesn't breathe so fast. Huh? So it's possible that uh, there may be some uh, lung infection also. Uh, so you need, you need to to be rested and mm. and uh, kept sunlight, give sunlight. Okay. Nice.